Hello everybody, my name is Ace and welcome back to Fuhrer Reich as Germany let us continue on from where we last left off. So we are soon to win the Spanish Civil War for the Spanish. Or for like, you know, Galicia up here. Assuming they can actually, um, take over all the cities that they need to. Hopefully they can actually get that done. Spanish, I don't think these guys are anarchists. Just gonna put it out there, but... You're 56, you should die relatively soon. Are you considered a core? No. I think this city and this city and Cadiz. Those are the three cities I think left. They've turned down the offer. Swedish government refused to participate in our trade proposal. Wow, rude. Okay. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have kept Hitler. Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, they're gonna ban the Rhinish workers. I don't know how, how that's gonna help us at all, but we'll ban them. I mean, we have a big army on their border, so maybe they'll be a little bit more willing to do it, as opposed to the Swedish, who are just assholes, I guess. Okay, so we've almost taken over here. The London stock market crashed last week after seeing, uh, uh, tumultuous five days in the London stock market, uh, fueled by fears of a shortage of goods and resources due to the ongoing revolt in colonial Africa and India. The stock exchange continued to vary wildly as news dripped out of Westminster regarding efforts to further uh, to prevent further infrastructure throughout the empire. As the day proceeded, mass selling ensued as panic-stricken investors lost confidence in the imperial economy and the British government's ability to tackle the colonial crisis. Okay, well, that's not great. Do I get it as well? Like, is it, is it going to be over here? Okay, so France gets locked, London stock market crash, but apparently it doesn't affect us. Okay, it happens to Britain, the United States, Canada. Doesn't happen to Mexico. The Ottomans, Greece? I don't know. This happens, I guess, to a few select nations. I'm guessing all the British uh, colonies get it. Like Australia and South Africa, I'm assuming, are all affected by it. Okay, so that's another city fallen. And at 27%. Where's their new capital? It didn't Valencia, even though that isn't actually a city owned by them, but sure. Cadiz is worth... I don't know. It's worth, like, some amount. Hey, I was like so hard to tell how many victory points things are worth. 19,000, 30,000 on their side. Can I just invade Cadiz? I mean, a lot of, they have a handful of guys down here, but they're all militia and they're not like very good. Can't have them take back this city. If you want to help me attack into this, in the Cadiz though, thank you very much. You as well? Would you like to help support me? No, but you're just gonna walk away? Fine. Yeah, so you guys should not be going, like, super well. I'm assigned the visions. You were another infantry. I'll put you on to purple now. Dresler declares the Treaty of Versailles dead. As part of the Treaty of Versailles, which officially ended the Great War, Germany was dismantled and humiliated following immense territorial concessions to the Entente. When our party came to power in 1933, uh, we were forced by threat of French intervention to abide and respect the terms and limitations set by the Treaty of Versailles. But now that France is in the middle of a devastation recession, uh, we are now confident that their government will be too big to stand up to us. We can now build our strength and defy the Entente without hesitation. We've now declared the Versailles Treaty dead. We'll see how the French respond to that. Apparently they're not doing anything about it. Okay, fantastic. So we got a French revanchism. Oh, fervent. Okay. Surrender limit plus seven percent. War support plus five percent. Seventy-three percent of the population wants war. I mean, you got to give the people what they want, right? Economic demobilization. Remo no, I don't want to do that. 
definitely not. I want to keep my military factory. So we need to, we need as many factories as we can. Because, like, we are going to go to war eventually. Like, there's no question about that. So that's another city fall in. They're 11%. But they need to get down to 10%. Jesus, okay. So we need to just, like, I guess take over various cities. Madrid doesn't count because that's not an actual core of their uh, country. No, you guys get over here. I mean, these guys will soon return to Germany. Because the war is almost over. And there we go. Valgan of Spain has has taken four states. The monarch of Spain has fallen. You would think you would like me a bit more for sending the volunteers, but I'll improve relations with you. I don't like I don't know if that actually does anything. Volunteer forces. When will you guys be back? The taught and now sanctions again. Don't sanction me! You assholes. The cowardly French have pressured hordes of nations to sanction our country and attempt to damage our armed industry. Okay, um... A taunt sanctions and production goes up by at least 10%. Not, like, too much. For a few years, could be worse. We don't need them. Get the Entente out of here. We're about, we're about to ban your workers, so, you know. I'm guessing the French don't really like us right now. Germany has violated Versailles. I don't even know if I have violated Versailles, to be completely honest. How many guys do we have on the field right now? 404 in the fields. So we still can't try to expand our borders yet. We need about another 100,000 men. Okay, so they've got an event. Austrian Iron, Lower Sudan Tariff. Damning the... Um, Poland. You want to give me some guns, buddy? I promise not to use them against you. I promise, I just, I promise. Communists win majority in Italian election. A surprise victory, the Communist Party has won in the 1936 Italian election. While the results are being, are very controversial, little evidence, is spelled wrong, a fraud can be found, the economic disaster, Black Wednesday pushed many Italian voters to the extreme ends of the politics. Uh, this has not stopped many on the right from protesting against their victory though, the Communists have at a long victory of causing social unrest in Italy with demands of sweeping social and legal changes. Many are worried that this will maybe the end of the Italian democracy as we know it. Uh, okay. So you've gone collectivist now. Any election by event. So yeah, I mean, that's not great for us. Are you still in? No, you've left the Entente. Albania has that military access. Is Albania like a satellite state? No, they're not. So there's now a civil war in Brazil as well. So the communists have won. Liberals win. Social Democrats. Conservatives. There's a lot of people in here. So now there's also a civil war in Brazil. So we got the Union of Brazil, which is collectivist. We got the Brazilian People's State, which is paternal autocrats in the United States of Brazil, which are market liberals. So of course, we want to support you. Civil war in Brazil. In an event that shocked absolutely no one, chaos and strife surges again, once again, in South America. This time in the South American giant, Brazil. The one that is split apart by eternal issues. As collectivist revolt has risen up in the so-called corrupt Brazilian Republic in the west side of the country, in the South traditional and nationalist groups that have no loyalty to either the Republic or the socialist insurgency, I think it matters that our own hands have risen up as well. I mean, we could also again send troops to volunteer over here. How long until you're done? The 13th, so tomorrow. I can just send those guys straight to Brazil if I want. Hey, Brazil, do you want uh, volunteers? Oh, we can send three guys now. Um, all three of you guys can just go across the, the world. I know you just volunteered, but you're going to volunteer again. Generates a little bit of threat, but you know, I don't think it really matters that much. So it's 19, still 1936. Let's get our artillery upgrade a little bit better. 
They generate a 1% more threat. I'm assuming they're going to pop up next to Sao Paulo. How many troops? Let's look at the numbers here. Zero divisions. I think I bet on the wrong horse here, but... Maybe our three troops can somehow defend them. I don't know. The hamper comp... Wait, how, would it, how did you get... Why are you now... Declared war... Okay, so... Denmark's now declared war on the commune. You're libertarian socialist. You are vanguardist. Which I'm assuming is going to be similar to totalist. And Kaiserreich. Really everywhere is just a disaster. Chaos in Kiel. The history of the Kiel zone has been incredibly turbulent since its inception. Originally established as an occupation zone of the Entente powers in order to maintain control of the Kiel Canal. Uh, it has proved to become a hotspot for German socialists and it has, has also become the birthplace of a strange prototype known as National Collectivism. 1927 saw an uprising of the first Ham Hammer Commune, which is nearly achieved victory over Danish occupied state forces. However, it was barely defeated due to a combination of poor organization on behalf of the Commune, a few strokes of luck on behalf of the Danes, and in recent days, the Danish administration in Kiel Zone caused a series of riots, escalating far beyond the control. Are you... Strasser! He left us and he went to go start his own Hamburg commune. Who do you think you are? Do you have your own tree? No, you don't. Can I invade you? No, we can't. We're just gonna be over there. How much... So you have 18 to 16 division. You probably might actually beat the, da the Danish. You have like way more troops than you do. Why the Sp the second the Spanish government's ran over here? Apparently they're in the continental Entente now. I guess they have cores on all of this. They do. So Spanish state. I'm gonna increase my influence at level again. Again, I don't know if that does anything. Oh, sphere. I don't know what that did. Are they in my course? Uh, no, I was going to say maybe they're in my faction now, but they're not. Well, you're in my sphere. Whatever the hell that means, you're in it now. So I hope you feel happy about that. Oh, you guys got troops now. Fantastic. Hello. So yeah, you guys are going to deploy basically like right there and try to just march to Rio de Janeiro. But it really doesn't seem like they have much territory other than that. The collective of Argentina, your collectivist. Is anybody else down here? Nah, there's a lot of... Ecuador's on our side. Colombia could be persuaded, I think. Kingdom of the Netherlands are down here. Who owns the Indonesia, then? This dude does. Again, he... I mean, I was gonna say he could be on our side, but we do have the Dutch state under our sphere right now already. How is the Portuguese Republic? How's this war going on right now? It's just kind of happening. Okay. Let us move our troops over here. Apparently the city might just be completely undefended, which is silly, but sure. Yeah, no, let's walk, let's walk across the capital. We don't need it. And there we go. The United States of Brazil was actually terrible, apparently. Yeah, so you guys go up here now, redeploy. Again, very similar numbers of actual troops uh, deployed. Long wins the presidency of the United States. Huey Pierce Long, the governor of Louisiana, a populist thorn in the side of American politics, has officially declared his, the inaugural president of the United States of America. Uh, the first Democratic president in more than three decades. He comes into office promising wealth, inheritance, and economic reforms. Long soars into the White House on the heels of one of the most tense campaigns in American history. Sparking tensions between Me Mexico and the United States, Long declared that he was up to the task, not a man who strikes first. The many political com commentators have expressed their disbelief in such a statement. Regardless of the opinion of some, Long's policies are clearly resonate with many. It's hard to say what the United States will do from here. So what are you, con you're still considered, okay, you're still considered social democrats right now. We'll see if that changes at all. Do you have troops up here ready to deploy yet? No. 
Can I deploy... I want us to deploy all these people. Are we at 500,000 in the field? No, we're 3,000 short. God damn it. Okay. No, I want you guys in here. And then you guys will now form a new army. Uh, you can be under control of you. You're just at the top of the list. And put them on the Polish border. Are you guys in a faction together? No, you're not. But you guys are going to deploy up there. And then, you know, just across your way into Poland, Warsaw. Basically like a nice little straight line like that. I mean, it's not really straight here, but just ignore that. Poland refuses our help. Everybody is saying no. Why did I put my trust in Hitler? Clearly, it's, it's, clearly it's not working right now. You know what, Netherlands, I believe in you. Will you actually do something to help me? Nobody actually likes us. That can be seen as an issue, but I would like to think of it as a challenge to, you know, get people on side. Military crackdown. I mean, you're paternal autocrats. You should like us. We're going for the military mandate. Back in control, call the fatherland. So if they went down this tree, I think they would have um, joined our country again. How's the militarization, stabilization on the Rhine? No, you're not allowed to do this. Legalize the Freight Corps, watch on the Rhine. I think we gotta just invade the Rhinelands. If they ever leave the uh, the Entente, we gotta just move our forces in right away. Okay, if you guys just move on up, we'll kind of go up and around the coast. Okay, so it's 19... Uh, how long are you ahead of time on? It's a 19% penalty. I'm gonna get it anyways. Disperse Industry 1, Disperse Industry 2. You know, also just get that now. Let's try to get it like as soon as possible. Yeah, so yeah you guys are really just going to go along the entirety of the coast. But I don't want it to be three provinces long. I don't think you understand this. Yep, just keep on marching up. The Brazilian people's state is not doing super hot, I would say. Ecuador, you guys want to help me out here? Yeah, no, you're dealing with Marxism. You should help me out here as well. You should all like me. How is how's this going on, by the way? Uh, yeah, Denmark is not doing so hot. We'll take another city. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of these things because it just when you only have like three troops, it just it's an issue. It doesn't actually work out properly. Yeah, so we're just gonna go across the coast and then try to take Belim up here, and hopefully the union will just dissolve. But it's hard to say. I mean, most of the troops aren't actually at the borders. Most of them are not doing anything at all. Which is kind of bad for us. Vast and Southern Italy. So yeah, you being in the commune and being opposed to the um, the French is probably like really good for us. It's just one less enemy we have to fight when we initially have to fight the French. We can just fight the French alone. And then we can deal with you when we ever deal with the, uh, the Soviets. Because you might join the Third International. I don't know if you're going to. You guys are also like extremely weak. Military crackdown. I don't think Lithuania is going to say yes either. Maybe we should start trying to focus on something else. Can I deploy like one more infantry? I can. Thank you. So now we can start doing our pan uh, German shit. 
getting all of the all the territory that's you know rightfully German it's rightfully ours yeah they just have like less ports to defend I guess so that's why more of their troops can actually be out here I mean they are marching up very very slowly I don't think walking through the Amazon rainforest is a great idea for you guys but you do you I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue but I think it's gonna be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not drinking, always thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.